All right, so network engineering, um, as as you may or may not know, uh, network is basically you know what all your company's computers are running off, right? So there's a network in place, whether you know it or not, um, but that's how you access things like the internet and do your Google searches and look at cat videos on YouTube, um, like someone I know. Um, so that that's that's the underlying um, architecture. So with network engineering, it's kind of that next step over a sysadmin. So you, you know, a lot of people start out in the help desk, as Joe mentioned, um, and then sort of the next vertical as they're getting more experience with different systems uh, across the organization, they'll generally jump into like network engineering. Um, and so s some of the search he mentioned are the starting off points, so like network plus and stuff. And we'll talk about that a little later on. But what do network engineers do, right? What is kind of their main responsibility? So they're responsible for actually building, maintaining, and helping to protect the network. So um, with the maintenance aspect of that, you know, you might get different requirements coming in across the organization of saying, well, we need to put this new application in or we have this new team we're developing, um, how, do we, how do we set them up with computers, right? How do they get access to things? So as a, as a network engineer, you kind of architect all that, build that stuff out, map it out essentially, and then help build it out with your team. And then from there, you have to actually protect it, right? Because um, criminal hackers are always trying to get in, and so we have to protect those networks. So some of the things you'll do, as I mentioned, you'll analyze uh, design and uh, requirement documents. Uh, so that's going to come from different departments, could be from like the CEO, uh, could just be from the accounting team. Uh, so a lot of different people will be bringing in um, new things for you to do. You're also going to be mapping out the network architecture. So a lot of a lot of your um, weekly uh, type of jobs, or even on a monthly basis, with that, and we'll talk about that a little later uh, also. But um, a lot of that's just building out different network diagrams of showing like what's the current state of the network, where are different you know firewalls, routers, switches, um, where are they on the network, and then presenting that um, generally in the C-suite or just to your like your IT manager. Um, and then also, you know, not operating everything as well, right? So um, we're operating hardware, we're operating software, we're also operating in, you know, networks nowadays, we're operating a lot of virtual uh, machines as well to help distribute the bandwidth uh, so we can keep systems up and running at a lower cost. So some of the key skills that you're gonna need, uh, abilities, um, reporting and communication, and you'll notice uh, throughout our presentation today, that we kind of list those as the top two, uh, mostly because it doesn't matter how good you are at your, at your job, if you can't convey that to like your manager or you know his or her manager or anyone else in the organization, it's kind of pointless, right? Because it's, it's difficult for you to then get funding and do other things that you need to do to be more efficient in your job. So reporting communication are always gonna be at the top of the list um, and along with customer service skills as well. It's really just about how you present yourself and whatever information you're trying to present. It never matters if you are successful if you can't communicate what <laughs> exactly. you are successful about. Exactly, exactly. Um, you know, if we, if we sit there and we stumble or if we can't say, hey, I found all these, you know, issues with the network, then the CEO is going to say, well, I'm not going to give you more money in the budget because I don't understand why you need it, right? I don't understand why you need a new firewall or why we need more routers and switches, et cetera. So, um, yeah, absolutely, you know, it's very, very important to communicate things effectively. Um, also, operating network equipment, uh, that's a skill you're going to, you know, of course, that's a learned skill. Um, you know, dealing with uh, different networking concepts, protocols, like, uh, you know, like TCP IP, um, diff uh, dealing with the OSI model. Um, again, we'll cover all that uh, in a later um, section of this particular training course. Uh, different networking security methodologies, you know, uh, so once you start working in industry or as, as you're training into the industry, you'll hear defense in depth. You'll hear defense in depth, um, it's somewhat overused, um, but it, but Constant. the key concept, yeah, lots overused, um, but uh, the key concept is is appropriate, right? Like we want to put different thing obstacles essentially, um, you know, in place where the the criminals can't get in, right? So um, think about it like if you go to the grocery store, and you know they've got different barriers in front of the store to keep you, you know, keep you know someone from driving into the store with their car. Um, that's to keep you from getting in and hurting somebody, right? So think of it the same way with your network. We put these little barriers in place to try to prevent the, you know, quote unquote bad people from breaking into stuff and hurting everybody. Um, you're also going to be analyzing network traffic as a network engineer. So that's going to be a, a huge uh, chunk of your day to day uh, operations is just analyzing all the information that's coming in uh, from different devices on your network and making sense of it hopefully. Uh, and then, you know, again, going back to the reporting aspect, generating reports so you can share that information with others. 
as I mentioned, protecting the networks. And then, of course, uh, depending upon where you're located, your company or you yourself, there's different laws, regulations, and standards that you'll have to follow. Um, so, for example, if your company is in healthcare, you'll have to follow things like HIPAA and high tech. Uh, and don't worry about those too much. We'll touch on those um, a little bit more in the actual uh, course sessions. Uh, as well as, like, if you're in the financial industry, you know, things like the Graham Leach Bliley Act here in the United States, uh, as well as, you know, uh, things like SOX. PCI DSS standard. So um, there's a lot of things, and it depends on your particular company what you're, you have to worry about. Uh, but just keep that in mind that there's a lot of information you'll have to know about as a network engineer to be more efficient. Now, of course, um, you know, with enterprise companies and, and some mid level companies, you'll have people you know, like attorneys on staff um, and, you know, compliance folks that will handle some of that. Um, however, it's better if you have an understanding of these different regulations as well, so that way you can implement changes and be a more of a brand ambassador of the networking side to make sure the organization's doing what it should. 